Yankee Diamond Select Marvel Select Zombie Magneto. Yeah, I've had this guy for a long time, and um, I'm getting out of the uh, Diamond Select craze. I mean, I'll get a couple here and there for my Marvel Legends display, but it's just, I don't know, there's something about it, you know, it's, I don't know, it's just not the same as Marvel Legends. I think it's the articulation, in my opinion. The details are much better, but I don't know, I, I still prefer... Marvel Legends, but I did, I got this a uh, couple Christmases ago, and so I'm just gonna review them now, because I have this, like, draw thing to my left, and, um, uh, I'm gonna put my 12-inch scale Marvel Legends over there, and there's a bunch of boxes that I need to, re uh, things that I need to review, and this was one of them, and, uh, I'm gonna be reviewing a couple random things for the next couple of days, so, uh, watch out for that. Uh, anyways, yeah, this guy looks pretty sick from the packaging. You can see Zombie Magneto's name there. You can see the Magneto logo there. Uh, there he is on the side, very gnarly. I love the art for the, um, the, uh, the zo Marvel Zombies. Anyways, if you want to read the read-up, pause it. Let me lift it up a little bit. Uh, pause it. Uh, now. Wait, no. Yeah. Okay, you can pause it there and pause it there. Uh, nothing on the side, nothing on the top besides dust, uh, nothing on the bottom, so let's get this guy opened up and see how cool he Alright, we got Zombie Magneto out of the packaging, and uh, yeah, I like this figure, you know, looking at it, uh, the, the articulation is different, uh, I'll give it that, um, but, I do, I really do like the sculpting and everything, the details in it, but, I got him on a flight stand, and he comes with this really cool base, which we'll take a look at right now. Come on. There we go. Move that out of the way, and then, oh boy. Everything just got knocked over. Alright, let's take him, take him off of this, put this over here, and get him to stand. Because, uh, I don't know what got knocked over. So, I'll check after the video. Uh, nothing important, I don't think. But, he comes with this really nice base. Uh, you can see the concrete cracking. You can see the, the, um, manhole cover. I don't know. Uh, nothing else going on with this. Oh, wait, yes, sir. It's us. <laughs> There's a very, uh, noticeable thing about this and this green goblin's wrist holding a pumpkin it'd be cool if the pumpkin was zombified but i guess you can't really do that but yeah this looks really good it looks like someone took a bite out of there there i don't know how was, maybe he blew up on its glider <laughs> see some bones very uh, graphic but yeah, I love the concept of zombies. I plan on, because I have some WWE zombie figures, and I plan on getting them again just so I can open them and review them, but, you know, yeah. So there's that, and now Magneto. The head sculpt looks pretty gnarly. And you can move this. Nice dry brushing on there. Like the paint. I wish, you know, this body mold, you know, obviously fixed up, was the mold for Magneto. Because the mold for Magneto is too buff. It's too big. And, and the articulation. this The articulation on this one is much better than the normal Magneto. So that's a bit unfortunate. But, man, look at that. You can see the eye socket in there. You can see the other eye. Some cracking, like maybe the jaw's broken. Yeah, very gnarly. Very, it looks very dry as well. I like that. You can just slide this back on. The paint apps on this guy is pretty cool as well. I wish there was a bicep cut and double jointed elbows, but we can't always go what you want, especially with Diamond Select figures. Let's look at the cape real quick. <laughs> I'm sorry if you like the more of the Marvel Legends. I mean, it's subjective, but uh, you can see some nice details there. It looks like rust. 
cape looks awesome, some tearing and everything. You can see some dirt on there as well. Lifting, lifting this up, you can see he's got, he's been through some stuff there. You can see like the muscle and everything. You can see the muscle on the, on the triceps. Yeah, he, he's been through uh, some difficult times. Some gashes there, you can see on his pack. He's got some eating, eating edge going on there, I don't know. I uh, like this hand gesture as well. It's uh, more realistic than you know him going like this. The original Magneto. You can see someone uh, went into his gut and exposed his spine, which uh, uh, just a little close to the. Uh, <laughs> uh, it it would have been you know more or less awkward if they put it up higher, but yeah, somehow the belt still stayed intact. See some gashes here. See some bone. I don't know how that's connected, but it is. See more leg. Some bits and pieces bitten off. Yeah, it's a uh, pretty uh pretty early. Man, but there is some like nasty gashes. Like, you know, this doesn't really bother me because you know that's very unrealistic. This, I mean, it's still unrealistic, but it's like, realistic, unrealistic, I don't know. Like that, you know, I would hate to have a gash like that on my, on my arm, so. I'm just gonna knot a gnarle, a gnarle, oh, a little bite right there. Yeah, whoever sculpted this, good job. I want to read the Marvel Zombies, because like I said, I do love the concept of zombies. Uh, anyways, articulation, the head will look side to side. He will look up the tiniest bit, but he'll just look more look straight on. He'll look down a little bit. There is a head pivot, kind of, sort of. The arm will move out like so. He will do 360. The, this arm flares out uh, a bit more, obviously, but uh, whatever. I mean, I'm okay with that because I'm going to be posing him, you know, with doing his, using his power. He's a single bend at the elbow. This one bends in a little bit more, I think. Because I think this is more intact than this one. Uh, no ab crunch, which is a big flaw in uh, Marvel uh, selects, and I mean, die their diaphragm joints are the best either, but I don't know, I don't know. Hip joints move out, like, so very awkward. Can't really kick out, you can like twist it out, so like that, I guess. There's a double joint at, at the knee, so. Both just so I can show, and then the feet will. I'm afraid this is gonna break because of how skinny it is, so I'm gonna just do everything on this foot from now on. Uh, the feet will hinge, and uh, there is some pivot, so that's actually some pretty good pivoting. So, now you're gonna put this guy in such a crazy pose because he's an old man, as it is, and you know, zombified. I don't think that's gonna help much. Now, there's a Spider-Man version where he's just eating the hell, and it looks so cool, but I think it's very expensive. So, uh, this is going to be the thumbnail. Let me just get a quick picture. Watching John Campia. Uh, I love John Campia. Uh, definitely recommend watching him if you're into movies and stuff. There we go. Uh, and, uh, yeah. The, this, I mean, this figure is cool and all, um, but like I said, I am getting out of... Diamond Select, unless I, you know, see a figure that could go into my, um, Marvel Legends collection easily. And, like, for example, I'm going to show you one right here. If, you know, if Hasbro, I mean, no, 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 I'm going to be this. If you can't find that Venom figure they released a couple years ago, you can just get this one. And this one would, you know, 
definitely not disappoint in your collection if you didn't have the, uh, you know, the, the Marvel Legends. This is a very good figure, I just don't know where to put them because I do have my Venom Legends, so, I don't know, but this figure is very nice, and so I pull them out and play with them a little bit, so, uh, yeah. Uh, wish I can find a good place to put them because I, I don't have a Diamond Select shelf anymore, I got rid of it to make room for my Marvel Legends, so, oh, whatever, it's, it's all good. I, I definitely want to pick up that Pulp Fiction line uh, from Diamond Select. Uh, I wish they were they looked a little bit better, but I mean I don't know. It's it's okay I guess. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Um, what do you think about anything? And uh, let me know if you want me to do uh, to talk about Toy Fair. I'll give my opinions on everything. And, uh, yeah, make sure you do subscribe, because there's going to be some random figures, old figures, uh, two old figures and one statue that came out a while ago, so make sure you do subscribe to see that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Thanks for watching.